This is the site of the new phenol solvent unit at the Great Plains Sinfuels plant. This was one of the few remaining open areas of the plant, so it was kind of, and it's close to the existing unit, so it was kind of obvious choice. This unit is being built to work just like the first phenol solvent unit. It'll extract phenol from the gas liquor stream. Gas liquor is mainly a water stream that comes from the gasifiers. On this day, one of the big extractor vessels is being set on its foundation. You see all these concrete foundations that are up in the air. All the extractors will go on top of them, the five extractors, and then there's other vessels to the east of there that will be lower down. The extractor vessel is being lifted with nylon straps. The vessel is 70 feet long and weighs 130,000 pounds. They're actually not the largest vessels, though. The, there's one larger vessel in the project that's about 100 feet long and also about 13 feet in diameter. The two phenol solvent units will be connected with piping. Once the new unit is running, each will run at about 50% capacity. That allows the existing equipment to operate closer to original design flow rates. Also, it ensures reliability for both units. Just for reliability reasons, if equipment sits for too long, not being used, you might find that you have problems starting it up when you need it. So it's, uh, it's better just to keep it, keep it going at a lower rate and, uh, and then shut one down when you need to work on it. In 2007, a vessel in the first phenosolvin unit started leaking, which caused the entire plant to be shut down for repairs. Having two units should prevent something like that from happening again. And when this is complete, then we'll be able to uh, do the necessary vessel inspections and equipment repairs while one unit is down without affecting the plant rates. This project is slated to be mechanically complete near the end of October. At the Great Plains and Fuels Plant, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen.